hello guys welcome back once again today we are going to cover nat nat stands for network address translation so the first thing that what is this network address so network address is nothing just and short form of the ip address or we can say the another name of the ip address another question it comes to the mind that what is nat and why we use it right so nat is basically the translation of ip addresses and why we use it because we are running out of ipv4 addresses and if we run out of ip addresses then we were not able to use internet or all the guys will not able to use the internet so in order to provide internet to all the guys we are having the different mechanism in the nat let's explore what exactly they are and how we are saving internet with the help of nat so in short we can say this is an internet saver if we don't have nat internet have gone till now though we are having a shortcut nowadays we have moved to the ipv6 but yeah before a long ago only it was nat who had saved us and because of its blessing we are using internet let's explore i have taken this image from wikipedia and this was a giving a very good example so that's why i took it so any of the ip packet is always having source ip address and the destination ip address and whenever any ip packet goes to the public world it uses a public ip address right in the home if you are connected to the broadband uh, you are using a private ip address like 10.0.0.1 as is shown in the example this is a private ip address and this destination ip address 200.100.10.1 is also a public ip address but that is of server so that is fine you are requesting a destination ip address that is a public one but in order to go to the internet you also need a public ip address of the source but right now you are having the private ip address and just for information let me tell you that whenever you are entering to the internet all the routers in the isp are having a rules we can say the acl access control list to block all the private ip addresses means that your private ip addresses cannot travel inside the internet so now you're doomed what you need so shortcut is our nat we will change this source ip address to some public ip address so that's what it is being done here that from this 10.10.1 we have changed this to 150.150.0.1 so changing of this ip address we call it as a nat clear guys good so now there are three types of nat based on its configuration the first type of nat is static nat another type of nat is dynamic nat and the third one is nat overload or some of the users also call it as a pat i think you might be aware with the name of pat port address translation so these are the basically based on the configuration but let me explain you what they are basically so let us suppose uh, we are having four guys here who want to go to the internet so if they want to go to the internet they need a public ip address so we have taken these four ip addresses here 200.200.200.247 and 8 if this guy want to go to the internet what he will do he will use this ip address and go to the internet or the he will use the server whatever whatever he wants to reach it if this guy wants to do go to the internet he will use this ip address and go to the internet 
but what happens in the static net we do static configuration that if this guy want to go to the internet he will always use this ip address if this guy wants to go to the internet he will use this ip address 200.4 if this guy 192.168.0.4 wants to go to the internet he will use the ip address 200.200.200.8 .200 and then only he can go to the internet but this has fixed that he can this guy cannot use this ip address never because we have fixed mapping of these ip addresses here our dynamic net gives a bit uh, we can say the efficiency or we have we can say at a service right that we don't need an static mapping of that one we are having a pool here that these guys want to go to the internet these are the public ip addresses here available if any of these guys want to go to the internet on the left hand side they can use any of the ip address from the public pool and then they can go to the internet so let us suppose this is our internet and if 192.168.0.4 wants to use the internet he will take this ip address and then he can go to the internet right benefit of this one is like this because earlier if we do static mapping any of this guy 0.2 if it is not available then this is free and still another guy cannot use this one so that was the benefit of using the dynamic net that anyone can use from the available pool and then they can go to the internet so this is basically dynamic net but this is not giving too much advantage because still we can you know go to the uh, shortage of the ip addresses because that is still one uh, user is using one ip address to the go to the internet so actually the problem what it was that we were running out of the ipv4 addresses is still we are the same where we were right so the shortcut of that one is our pat we call it as a port address translation so now what is happening that is the diagram of the right hand side that any of the ip address let us suppose this 192.168.0.1 wants to go to the internet then what they will do they will use the same ip address 200.200.1 but whenever they are going to use the internet they will go like this they initiated the request took the ip address and at the end they have added the port number 18 if this guy wants to go to the internet they will go like this public and then they will add the port number 19 at the end similarly if the three wants to go to the internet he will add the port number 20 and then he will go to the internet here the actual problem comes right that whenever our server here he replies with something okay that there was a request right because if this guy has requested any of this information from this server this is going to reply now if he is replying from to the same ip address then it is very important that this is delivered to the correct recipient it's not like that it has been requested from this guy and delivered to this guy right so for that one whoever the router or the device or firewall is doing the uh, this translation they are having a table created for that one like this similar like that's we are seeing here let us suppose this is our table here right this is the table so we are having information from the server whenever any request is created it is having the table here request comes reply comes is checks this table okay port number 18 it was requested by 0 0.1 if the reply come for the port number 20 then it means that it was requested by user port dot three so normally we call it as a translation table or we call it as a nat table so these are the terminologies of the routers basically these are of the cisco inside local inside global outside local and outside the global so this is the basic idea uh, that's how we understand static nat dynamic nat and pat in the next session uh, we are going to cover the 
practical of this one basically we are going to implement in the firewall okay guys so till that bye bye see you soon yeah one more uh, thing uh, i want to tell you we are having one more terminology as a dnat destination nat if the time permits we will cover it later on okay thank you guys see you soon bye bye